Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jamie, co-host Ronan. Today, we are throwing down in the kitchen for a Cajun jambalaya. What, what? What, what? <laughs> First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut up some sausage, some celery, some green red pepper, and then green onions, and some garlic, just so we have everything ready for when we're ready to put it into our roux. The recipes that I have seen online have said to just do two celery stalks. However, I'm going to do three just because I like celery and I like want more. Not so thin, probably about this, half an inch or so. Put it in. Slide it in. Put all of it mm -hmm. in there. What we're going to do is we're going to cut up the pepper. So I'm going to just do one habanero pepper. Um, they didn't have a big one, so I'm just going to use this little one. And just for it to be a little bit more of a kick, because I know my husband. At eight cloves that we're also going to put in with our veggies. Again, we got celery, red pepper, a habanero, eight garlic cloves. Um, and then we're going to do the Cajun style sausage. Ronan is helping me uncover the garlic cloves. We're going to cut up the Zatarant uh, Cajun style sausage. Um, I'm just cutting them probably around this thin. Just a little bit thinner so there's more of them. Again, we still have two other proteins. We have chicken that we um, that have was cut up that we just need to season, and then we also have um, shrimp, thawed shrimp um, that we need to season too. Work on the chicken just to do a little bit of seasoning so I'm going to do some black pepper sadly this is the only salt I have season the shrimp looks like this um, I put a towel so they would dry a little with the water I'm going to season the shrimp um, I'm going to use some of this Cajun choice style seasoning Looks like this. Smells amazing. And then I'm also going to use the garlic and herb. I just love this. Put a little bit of that in here. And just let those spices work together. Okay. Alright. So let me check our pan because I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make this root. Now. The one thing about roux is once you start, don't leave, don't go anywhere. If you gotta pee, you're gonna have to hold it because if you burn it, you gotta start all over and I ain't trying to start all over, okay? So I have my half cup canola oil and then I have my half cup flour. All right, you guys, I don't even know how this works or what you're supposed to do but I did put the half cup canola oil in there so I have the canola oil in there I'm just doing a little bit at a time oh no hoping that we get something and I'm just doing a little bit at a time trying to do this and record for you guys so I hope I don't <laughs> mess up this roux and what you're looking for is you're looking for like a brown color almost the color of chocolate 
um, that's when you know the roux is good or where you're wanting it to be for jambalaya. <laughs> Do you guys see that? And I am on a medium high heat, you guys. Alright, so now my roux is good and I'm putting in the onions, green peppers, and celery in there. And I'm just going to mix it up. Ah! This thing is extremely hot, so you really don't need that much. Um, you're just wanting to caramelize it. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. You good? Look at that real girl. Look at you ruin over here. This is what you're looking for, you guys. Hopefully you can see it. You're wanting the roux to do this. You guys still see it sizzling? Alright. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit for a second. Um, I'm going to go get my garlic and everything. Alright, now I'm going to put in my garlic and green pepper, jalapeno pepper in there too because those don't take too long um, to cook down oh god you guys the smell alone is like amazing like I'm, I'm I wish I had smell a vision because it is like bomb.com now I'm gonna put in my chicken stock um, it says to put in six cups of chicken stock Six cups of chicken stock. All right. And again, you guys, I am just letting this simmer for a second. I'm going to bring it back to a simmer. And then I'm going to let it cook down for a little bit. And then I'm going to put all of this in the crock pot so it's good to go. All right, now while this is doing a little bit of a simmer, I'm waiting for my crock pot to heat up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some butter on the round and on the bottom of it. All right, you guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the roux with the vegetables, the celery, the red pepper, the habanero, the garlic, the onion, everything that we just put in there, we're gonna put the roux into the crock pot because the crock pot is good to go now. Um, and then we're going to start putting in the sausage, um, some seasoning, get some flavors going with the chicken. Let's do it. What I did is I buttered the bottom of this in a round so it would be all good to go. Um, I'm going to put in my sausage. Now I'm going to put in my chicken. Oh God, the smell alone, you guys, the smell alone, it smells so good. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to put in some Cajun seasoning and some Creole seasoning. Again, this is what Ronan wanted. He wanted both. So we going to do both. Okay. Good. Ronan's going to stir now. Okay, it's hard. You got it. You got it. Stir, 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 man. Good job. Looks good. What does it smell like, Ronan? Smells like hot dogs. Hot dogs? Mm -hmm. This is jambalaya, boo. This is jambalaya. I know it, but it smells like hot dog. <laughs> it's like brown, like a br brown. A <coughs> All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the um, the rice in so it can cook all together. All right, Robo. Make sure you take the spoon now. Then dump the whole thing in the pot. All right, and that is one cup, you guys. So we got two cups. Get the other one, Robo. We got two cups of rice rest of it all right looks good now stir 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 again okay 
And what we're wanting is we're gonna let it sit and everything, and we want all of that to get into that gooey, gooey goodness right there. So with us cooking it for four hours, it'll get nice and good. Man, I wish you guys could smell this. This smells so good. Yeah, bro, bro. yeah this, this is gonna be so good. So good, so, so good. All right, you guys, so we put a half a stick of butter in here. Um, it's real butter, unsalted. It's not like, can't believe it's not butter. No, it's real hearty butter, guys. We're talking about carbs, okay? We're not trying to go skinny jeans right now, okay? <laughs> right, Robo? Mm -hmm. No skinny jeans on this hearty meal. <laughs> Robo was working it, working it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit for four hours um, and then once the four hours is up we're gonna put the shrimp in that's in the fridge and once we put those in there then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that cook for another 30 minutes and then we'll put the green onions in for the last little bit so you guys can see the four hour high that it's on so an hour down you guys Three more hours to go. The amazingness that is happening in this pot right here. <laughs> Girl, I can't wait. Mm. So I'm an idiot and totally forgot to show you guys that I put the seafood in, the shrimp. So I just put the shrimp in. I'm gonna cook this for another 30 minutes or so. All right, you guys. So it's about 8.30 at night. Um. The jambalaya has been cooking for about four and a half hours now. Just want to show it to you guys. This is what it looks like. I'm super impressed. I'm going to make um, some bowls for mom and dad and Joe to try. Reese is not home yet, so he just told me to save him some. So we about to get into this because I am hungry and I have not eaten anything all day waiting for this crap to be done. All right, taste test, guys. Mom and Dad try it first. Okay, here we All go. Right, we're going to try this jambalaya that my daughter made. Yum. Let's see. Oh. She's just rather tasty. Very mm -hmm. tasty. Okay. The seasoning is just like right there. It's popping. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. So you got chicken, you got shrimp, That's you got sausage. Got some scrimps. Mm -hmm. Got some scrimps. Mm. This mm. is delicious, Jamie. Really. It was very good, Jamie. Thanks, guys. I'm so excited. It's spicy and... <laughs> yeah, it got that spice. Got that little kick to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little Creole. A little, little Cajun for you. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So now it's my turn to try. And Joseph. Oh, Joseph and Joe's here. And so, I'm going to take a little bit of shrimp. <clears throat> a little bit of chicken. A little bit. Give me something to drink. That's awesome. Oh god. Mm. This is so good. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> Joe, you don't even need a plate, bro. I got you. Oh, oh my god, you guys. The spice is just like there. Mmm. Whew. Oh man. I did good. What do you think, Joe? Nice job. Thank you. Very good. I'm digging this. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me today. If you're not already and you'd like to be, please subscribe. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, make sure that you hit the notification bar so you know when I upload a new video. As always, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Peace out. Okay.